one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And this is going to be a really quick comparison video on hipster cars. If you're doing upkeep and your own stuff on your cars, many different kinds of pads you can use. And these are both old and going to be tossed here, but many different kinds of buffers you can use. This is a 200 and something dollar DeWalt. It's a great buffer. Works great. In fact, I just rebuilt the then put the new brushes in it or what have you. Um, this one here is a Chicago pneumatic $39 Harbor Freight Special. If you're just doing your car at home, you don't need the big 200 and something dollar, $250 DeWalt. This is going to last you for a long time. You're going to rebuild it, do things on it. This 10 times doing your car over five, six years, you're ready for a new buffer anyways. Um, it might last you longer. Depends on how rough of a buffing you've got going on and such, but they're fine. Check them out at harborfreight.com. One other tip on these, make sure and get the adjustable speed with a trigger. And they have both kinds there at the Harbor Freight in this model. Might be a different color or something. But the digital triggers are absolutely crap for buffing. That's all there is to it. Don't let somebody tell you you need them big double whammy bammy things that cost a lot of money or all this or you need that. Little weeble wobble things are just great for, you know, applying wax or something. But to actually polish your car, this is what you need. This is the, the, the way to do it. And you can really screw your car up doing it. So be careful. But, you know, if you've got a brand new Mercedes or something, you don't need to be polishing your car with this kind of stuff anyways. You just need to be upkeeping it and maybe applying some wax or polish with the weeble wobble thing. You've got a great paint to begin with and it's not all open to the elements. You know, you got a nice newer paint job. If you've got a, I'll show you the difference here. If you want to buff something and keep it nice, like this is a nice car. This car, the paint's beautiful on. It's just been raining and stuff. Over here, beautiful paint. Car is great. The Lincoln is great paint. You got something like this, it's all a clear coat peeled off of or anything, and you want to make it look better, I could make this car look great with one of them polishers. Uh, this car would look better. That, that, that Suburban would look better. Anything that's got a lot of fade to it, in fact, I'll put a link in here to one of my videos, and you'll see um, the Aurora um, actually doing a buff job on that, and this here Centurion doing a buff job on that. I'll put links in the videos. Make sure to subscribe here on Hipster Cars and over on Cereal Marshmallows where the actual videos are for these cars. And I'm telling you what, it makes a big difference on them doing a proper polish job. Now it's time to get to polish in on that one for its second polish because I drove it for a year and a half. So that's your last of your buffer preview review comparison and if you got the money nothing better than them DeWalt's or Makita if you just want to spend the minimum and have a good product that'll do it go to Harbor Freight get one of them it'll do anything you need thanks for watching check out my site oneownercarguy.com hipstercars.com beaglespocket.com for beagle you name it we'll talk to you